Hello Libra, welcome to your reading. Today we are taking a look at you versus them. So whoever is on your mind, think of their uh, zodiac. We're going to pull a card for each zodiac and see what that connection looks like, what they are thinking of you. So let me know in the comments what you think of this format and if you like it, we'll do it more often. I'm just kind of testing it out today. So let's look at your energy. We're also, we're also going to grab a message from each one. So we'll see what's going on on their side too. So let's look at your energy with this person on your mind. What is Libra's energy? Take what resonates, Libra. As always, watch your other placements and get a full picture and let me know what you think, okay? All right, let's look at your energy, Libra, in this situation. Your energy in this situation. Libra, Libra's energy. One more card. Thank you. So we have a lot of cups. So I feel like you you have a lot. You have a lot of feelings for this person on your mind. You have, but you might be going back and forth between focusing on you and focusing on them. And it may be a bit of confusion because you don't really know what they're thinking. Because I have the Page of Cups here. And so you may be wanting to apologize to somebody or you may be wanting to start as friends, give a little bit of emotion, but then we have, we have the Queen of Cups. So it's like, do I go little or do I go big? You know, because the Queen of Cups is like overboard giving, 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 giving. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that is, is they just are full of love and they're ready to give that love. They're ready to give that cup of love. In fact, she wants to give you her cup and then she has her little teapot here to refill in case you didn't get enough. Let's give you some more, you know? So it's like, you really want to give this person love, but then we have the page of cups. It's like, Maybe I want to start small. Maybe I want to give all of my love, but maybe I don't. Because we have the the Four of Pentacles. It's like we're holding back. So I feel like you're flip-flopping, Libra. What is going on here? I feel like you're thinking, should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't? Should I focus on myself and just kind of give them a little bit or maybe just be their friend? Or do I pour my whole self out? <laughs> Which is it, Libra? What's going on here? You could be having to deal with work. There may be a work situation that you might be dealing with. You could be dealing with a Gemini because they had that same Four of Pentacles energy of kind of holding back. But I see sort of a, I'm just feeling a flip-flop situation here with you. Like, I just, do I want to give my cup or do I want to give my cup and my teapot? Or do I just want to focus on work? So let's take a look at each sign and see what their energy is towards you. Let's break the deck and I'm gonna take a message. I've already actually cleared these. I don't know why I'm even doing this. So we're gonna go ahead and, all right, take one from each. So let's start with Aries for you. Aries is in the King of Swords energy. So they're not really sure about you or you are not really sure about them because the King of Swords, they don't always tell you exactly how they feel and they come off a little bit cold. So that might be why you're like, do I or don't I do or don't I? So if you're dealing with an Aries, they may be coming off a little bit cold. They may be coming off a little, they may be really blunt but they may be getting ready to tell you more about what they are feeling. You might be getting ready to get clarity from this Aries and that may help you get out of this back and forth thing you got going on over here because there's, there's love. The King of Swords has love for you. They are very independent though and they know their truth, man. They know their truth. So they may just be really taking some time to learn about what is true for them about you. You know, how do I really feel? And that might be coming across with to you as confusing, you know? But I see communication here. I see communication. There's a big soft heart in there, in, but it's, it's guarded by a little bit of a cold exterior. So that could put you in this energy of, I don't know here, I don't know, but I do see communication in that sword. That sword is a breakthrough sword. 
it's a truth sword and it's a communication sword. So you may be getting ready to receive some very clear communication from your Aries. Let's see what the message is. I know I messed everything up. So maybe they had messed something up with you. And that's why you're not sure. Maybe they messed something up with you and, and it's put them in this energy of taking a step back and really thinking about things and that's making you maybe not so sure or maybe you're just focused on work while everything kind of gets sorted out. Let's get you another message from Aries. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Well, the Page of Cups can talk about a an apology. So maybe the energy is interchanged here. Maybe it's you that needs to give them an apology. You tell me, Libra. Because that King of Swords actually could be you, too. So, moving on. Taurus. Well, Taurus is in the same energy of of the four of pentacles as you are so they're just as confused as you what is going on here libra what is going on here so they're holding back from you you're holding back from them you're both confused you both maybe maybe you work together and uh maybe you guys are both just like i might as well just focus on my work because that's what's in front of me to focus on and, uh, you know, I just want to focus on my stability right now because I'm totally confused about this connection. Finance. <laughs> As I was just saying, financial challenge are affecting this connection. So maybe your Taurus is Taurus. Yeah, Taurus is focused on their finances right now. And maybe so are you. And it may be coming off as a little bit confusing. So you don't know if you should pour love or you should focus on your work. And maybe they feel the same way. I'm going to get you another message. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Just let it unfold. Just let it unfold with this Taurus, okay? Because they may be feeling the weight of financial pressure is very difficult. I'm sure you know, right? So let's look at Gemini. Gemini is on pause. Gemini had this too with, oh gosh, I can't remember if it was Libra, but I can't remember. So you're on a pause with, with your, your Gemini. So things are just sort of not going anywhere. That could mean that it's kind of come to an end, or it could mean we're just waiting on divine timing for things to shift. It's your choice if you want to hang in there with them or not. I feel like you're sort of pulling back though with your your four of energy, your four of pentacles also holding back your time and energy, and they may be also they may be just waiting for a shift. They're waiting for the light to come on. They're waiting for something to move. Why is this stalled? I'm gonna get another card. Why is this stalled? We have the Queen of Swords. You. Why is this stalled out? Because you, <laughs> you have put your hold, your heart on hold from Gemini. Maybe you're working on your boundaries. Maybe you're working on, you're just taking some time to just figure out what you want. You've been back and forth. Maybe you're just deciding, what is my truth? What do I want? Does this person align with my truth? I'm just trying to figure it out. And until then, we're going to be on pause. Patience. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, Libra. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. <laughs> Someone's going through a spiritual awakening, learning about their truth. Maybe both of you, but I get the energy of, of you in that Queen of Swords, they're, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. And you're over here. Cancer. Cancer wants the whole package with you. So if you've been wondering how Cancer feels, Cancer wants it all. Cancer thinks that you are it for them. They want to sit in the rainbow with you and soak it all up. They're full of love for you, 
they're full of love for you, Libra. They want to build a family with you. They want to build a future with you. They want everything with you. You are everything to them. Let's get a message. Whoops. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Well, no wonder you're confused. Denial, detach with love. Good night. So this Ten of Cups that, that our Cancer wants with you, they may come with a bit of toxic energy. And you may be pulling back because there's something not right here. Even though they have all these feelings for you, you're feeling like, or they are feeling about you, like they need to pull back. They need to, um, there's some kind of red flags flying with this person. Chemistry. The attraction is real, though. There's really attraction there. There's something toxic that they're pulling away from or that you're pulling away from them. What is this? The Page of Cups. Hmm. Maybe they're feeling like your indecision is toxic. Maybe they're feeling like you haven't made a decision, so they need to pull back and focus on themselves. Maybe that's a red flag to them. And maybe you are just focused on yourself and trying to figure out what exactly you want. They know what they want, but you may not know what you want. And so that for them could be a red flag and telling them to pull back and focus on them and allowing it to unfold. Leo. Ah, Leo is coming out in Leo's power. Leo is just confident and sure and in the spotlight and you may be so attracted to them and you may think that Leo has other options so that may be why you're flip-flopping between giving them all of your love or just some of it. <laughs> maybe this Leo is, you know, maybe you wonder if they if they're with other people because you see that they clearly are in their prime right now they are attractive right now they're magnetic right now they may be even in the spotlight they may be an influencer in some way and you may be feeling like i don't know i'm kind of scared i'm kind of scared to ask him out or something like that because they're very powerful in their they're they're in their power right now they're in the spotlight and everything is going so well for them right now that it may make you feel like you don't know. Let's get a message. Okay, so we have forgiveness with Leo. Forgiving yourself or another will help you to move forward. So they may be in the spotlight. Things may be going really well for them. They may, they may need to let go of something from the past, though. And that could be sending weird signal, signals to you. Maybe you have a Leo in your past that didn't work out. It, it didn't work out with you. So maybe there's some sort of forgiveness from something from the past. Let's get another. I lost myself for a little while. Maybe they pulled away from you because they're in the spotlight and maybe they kind of lost themselves in that spotlight for a while because they were getting all this attention and they it kind of maybe swallowed them up. Maybe it put them in their ego a little bit. And so you may have to forgive them or they, vice versa. You take it how it resonates for you. But your Leo is looking pretty magnetic right now. And things are looking very good for them. So I feel like you're just not knowing what to do because they may they may be feeling a little bit lost in their in their big big energy right now getting all this attention and stuff and that might be why you're just not sure so you're focusing on you and that's good so virgo oh virgo is in some leo energy here virgo is in their power and virgo is very confident and secure with themselves you have a lot of attraction here they are feeling super attracted to you they're feeling like they're ready to take control they might be asking you out so if you're not with this person already you may 
get ready to be asked out by this person, there's a lot of chemical attraction here. It's like the chemistry is off the charts, off the charts. So they're in their power. They're very, very attracted to you. Very. And they're ready. They want to move forward with you. They're actually kind of in a hurry. They're like ready. And you might be in this, I don't know. Well, if you want this person, you're going to need to come into this sort of confidence like they are. Because if you don't, you may lose them. Let's get it. A message. I hid who I really am from you. I want to be more than friends. Okay, so they were hiding feelings. You didn't know that they had the feelings and all that attraction for you. And now they're going to tell you. They're, they're wanting to move forward like right now. Like yesterday. So if you are going back and forth about this Virgo, they want to be more than friends and they are ready. <laughs> Libra. Conflict, challenge, maybe some, uh, you know, fighting going on. There's a lot of challenging energy here. There's a lot of battling of the wills here. There's a lot of challenging energy, my goodness. Oh my gosh. There's two fives. Okay, two fives. This can talk about you know, a lot of change going on in this connection with you and another Libra. Interesting. This could even just be within yourself. Really fighting thoughts. Really being in your head. Really unsure. Having a lot of uncertainty and unsure. You know, stress. Maybe you're dealing with a lot of chaos, drama in your life. Maybe they are dealing with a lot of chaos and drama in their life. Maybe everything is just sort of changing right now and it's very uncomfortable, you know? Um, we have two fives. Fives are the number of change. And change can be very uncomfortable. It's very, very, very uncomfortable. So, and I'm feeling with these energies, there's a lot of uncomfortableness here. Between you and another Libra, or maybe this is you wanting to learn about yourself and you're all up in your head, you're dealing with a lot of a drama, and no wonder you're pulling back and focusing on yourself. And no wonder you're like, I don't know which way to go because there's just so much going on and you just need to breathe through it, Libra. <laughs> breathe through it. And turn to source and ask for help and breathe through it. Stay as grounded as you can. This is not the energy of being grounded. So really ground yourself. You know, spend some time in nature, barefoot and really breathe and meditate and ground yourself because you, you really need it. Either that or your person needs it. You came closer than anyone. We will be together again. So maybe there's some sort of separation with you and another Libra. Or maybe you're coming back together with yourself. Like I said, you could be wanting to learn about your own self right now. And maybe you're sort of feeling like you're coming apart, but you're coming back together. So take it how it resonates for you, Libra, okay? Take it how you how it resonates. You came closer than anyone. This is you coming into yourself, you know? And you needing to come closer than anyone because we need to put ourselves first, you know? We need that self-love first and love ourselves and be there for ourselves first before we can open up to somebody else. So let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio has a new beginning for you. They want the long haul with you. They want to go the distance. They see a future with you. They see you as loving and caring and dedicated and trustworthy. And they see you as somebody who they want to put down roots with and go the distance with. So if you're not currently with this person, get ready. Scorpio, regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Libra, what is going on with these cards? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So you may have been in a past relationship with them and they want to start over. 
so maybe you triggered each other to go in through a spiritual awakening and you know lessons learning the lessons and now they want to come back together with you maybe you're their twin flame let's get another message I feel you leaving me behind so they may feel you pulling away because you're in this four pentacles energy of holding back and they may come forward and tell you, I want to start this over again. I want to try again. I want to put down roots. I want to go the distance. I've learned a lot. I've healed a lot and I'm ready now. Especially if they're, if they're feeling you pull your energy back, they're going to spring forward. Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius is in their power. They are magnetic. So they think that you are magnetic. <laughs> they think that you, first of all, they're in their power. So they're feeling pretty confident and good about you. So if you're connecting with a Sagittarius, there's a lot of attraction here. There is a lot of mutual respect here. There's a lot of create, creative, you know, um, energy like you guys may work together. You may create something and build something together. You may want to build a business or something together. You may be creative partners here. But your Sagittarius gets a lot of attention too, just like Leo. And they are very much in their confidence and they feel very confident about you. So that you must make them feel confident. You must make them feel like they can trust you, you know, and that there's a lot of attraction and everything. And they feel very, very, uh, complete with you. They feel complete with you and they feel like they can trust you. They feel like you light them up and that you allow them to be themselves. So they feel very comfortable with you, Libra. Integrity. Yes. The situation aligns with your values and your morals. I feel like they feel like you align with their morals and their values and you may be questioning because you're wondering if you should give your whole cup or not so you're you may be questioning if they align with your truth and your morals mm -hmm. marriage this relationship is moving towards a sacred union i'm telling you there's a lot of attraction here and they think that you align perfectly and they they feel like you help them to shine that you help them to be them their full self so you might want to you know think about that so capricorn and capricorn is showing up in their power too so there's a solid relationship here with capricorn there's a solid grounded stable dedicated trustworthy relationship here with capricorn they think the same of you so i feel like you guys are on the same page they think the same of you that you are trustworthy that you are grounded that they feel safe with you they feel grounded with you they feel stable with you they feel like this is a grown-up relationship this isn't like there's no games or anything like that you know like you're both on the same page and you can trust each other and you can feel safe with each other and that you both want to build something great you both want to build something that goes the distance right mastery yes mastery i love that you've learned the spiritual lesson but you've mastered the art of connection with with this capricorn let's get another one apology you can expect the apology that you want to hear Maybe you guys have, you know, maybe you need to <laughs> apologize to them because they're grounded, they're ready, and you're still. So maybe the apology comes from you because they feel like they've mastered, they're ready. I have mastered my healing. I have mastered my growth. I have, I am ready for this relationship. So maybe they're ready for you to take that step. Maybe they're waiting for you to take that step because we have, you know, you being in your four of pentacles, like holding back and then trying to flip flop between the page and the, and the queen, like which one is it going to be? So they may feel that coming from you and you may want to apologize for that confusion. Aquarius. Well, Aquarius is ready 
for a new adventure with you. Aquarius is ready to travel. Aquarius is ready for you to go with them. They're ready to give you their whole heart. They're ready for a wild, passionate time with you. They could be just um, physical. Aquarius could be physical. So you may be feeling this with them. And you're kind of more emotional. If you're going to commit, you want to be emotional. But Aquarius, maybe you're feeling this energy of, you know, they're a little bit more physical. Because they would really love to get physical with you. There's a lot of passion and chemistry, attraction. But you're not sure, maybe, if they will go the distance with you. Mm -hmm. Friendship. And maybe you want more than friendship and they're wanting to stay in the physical. This friendship is leading to more though. There's a lot of chemistry between you. There's a lot of attraction. My life is not as together as it seems. Maybe that's why they're not ready to commit or they're, they're kind of more on the physical side. But boy, they like you. Pisces. Pisces sees your dedication. Pisces sees that you are good at what you do and that you, they see you as being in the spotlight. They see you as the master, as the influencer, kind of like you, you had Sagittarius and Leo over here in their power and being on in the spotlight. Well, Pisces sees you as being in the spotlight and they they see you as someone who's dedicated. I'm feeling the energy of friendship with this one, like friends that may lead to more, but I feel like there's just a really good foundation. That's what I'm feeling is this really good foundation with this Pisces. Like they feel so grounded with you and they feel like they can trust you and they feel like they can tell you anything and they feel like you will not betray them and they, they just feel safe with you. And, but they see your worth. They see your light. They see how good you are at what you do. And they feel, they feel that energy from you. It's like they're proud of you. This is what I'm feeling, is they're proud of you, Libra. Let's get a message. Oh, they feel like you're their soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. They feel from they they feel that from you. Trust. Yeah. So of all of everybody, Pisces really is the best one here. They feel they trust you, and they feel like you're their person, and they see you. I just feel so much pride when I see this. I feel like they're so proud of you. Libra, let me know what you think. Comment below and let me know if you like this kind of reading. And um, subscribe, watch your other placements, and definitely let me know what you think. Okay, I'll see you in the next reading.